Hello everyone, and this is Microsoft's latest operating system, Windows 10, um, if you haven't heard about it yet. Um, so it seems that they have skipped um, Windows 9 and have gone straight to 10. Now there are many rumors as to why Microsoft skipped Windows 9 and went to 10, but I'm not going to get into that right now. Um, right now, I'm just going to show you guys... Um, what it looks like and some of the new features that they've uh, included in this new operating system so basically if you're someone that really preferred Windows 7 over Windows 8 you're gonna love this one then Windows 10 is gonna be very much like Windows 7 the only difference between Windows 7 and this is you get a boatload of new features that you will never have in Windows 7. A very important thing is that they reintroduced the start menu. As you can see the start menu is different and you can pin tiles on it. You can also resize it to your liking and also the more apps that you add here It'll go to the side here. Now, right off the bat, um, Windows 10 is a pretty fast, stable operating system. This is the technical preview. So this is very early software, and I'm just very impressed at how stable it is and how great it runs. Now, I'm running this on a really, really cheap HP computer that I uh, bought at Walmart for like $300. And um, when I got this computer, it came with uh, Windows 7. And, um, you know, with Windows 7, it didn't run as well. But um, once you put, like, Windows 8 or Windows 10 on it, it runs, um, I would say, a little bit quicker. It's not, like, a huge difference, but it, it definitely runs quicker. I mean, as far as I've noticed, Windows 10, in terms of performance, is running exactly like Windows 8. It's not any quicker, it's not any slower, which is perfectly okay. And as you can see, I'm just running a really cheap AMD Phenom um, X2 processor at um, 200, um, it's, I think it's 3.5 gigahertz. And I've only got like 4 gigabytes of RAM and it runs wicked quick. It's not slow at all in any way whatsoever. So, I mean, if you do have a cheaper computer and um, let's say you have Vista or Windows 7 on it, yeah, upgrading will make it quicker. Now, I, I, let's say if you're someone with a, a computer that was made during the XP days, I'm not sure if this will be quicker, but um, you're definitely going to get a lot more features and it's going to be a lot more up to date. Now, um, as you can see, everything's pretty quick. Um, when Windows 10 comes out, it's going to ship with a brand new version of uh, Internet Explorer. Um, supposedly, it's going to be very different from the current one. But we'll see what Microsoft has planned for it then. Another thing that it's going to come with is it's going to come with DirectX 12, which is going to be great for PC gaming. Um, I can't wait for that. And um, one of the things I did notice here is... Um, if you they made some changes to the snap feature if I snap something to the side it'll actually show all your open apps over here so you can pick whatever one you want and it just automatically snaps it right there to the side uh, <laughs> as you can see that feature needs some work didn't really work properly that time but um, it's a great idea and you know like I said this is very early software so don't really expect everything to work properly yet they added a little search here in the taskbar which is pretty cool um, this search will allow you to search your computer and you can also search the web all from the same place now those of you that are familiar with Windows 8 you might like this and you might not but the charms bar has been removed and it is not going to be brought back. There was a lot of mixed opinions on that. <laughs> a lot of people liked it. A lot of people didn't like it. Um, this is the new Windows Store. Now, as you can see, the the modern or Metro apps um, are all windowed now. 
and it'll be like that by default if you um you still have the option to make it full screen there's a little thing here and everything that would have been in the charms bar is um over here now um like search and all that so you could search directly in the app which is awesome it makes it a lot easier than it was before and yeah right there is full screen so if you have a game you can uh open it up in full screen Um, another thing, I mean, if you notice, the animations are slightly a little different. And um, another crazy feature that they added here is this is um, this is um, a button that you hit on your taskbar. Or you could also, another way of doing that is if you do Alt and Tab, it'll let you switch in between all your open apps. But if you go over here, you'll notice there's a Add a Desktop. You do that and it'll let you open up a different set of of windows. Um, now if you're familiar with the Mac operating system, um, they've had that feature for a while. But it's nice seeing something like that on a PC. We're expecting lots of changes um, even to uh, Windows Explorer itself. And basically other than that, I mean this is... Windows 10. It's not much to say about it yet. I will have more videos on it when once Microsoft releases updates on this and um, they make some changes to it. But from the looks of it, um, Windows 10 is going to be pretty awesome. That's it. Don't forget to subscribe and goodbye.